So today what we're looking at is the Formula Steering Wheel 4. This is our latest generation of steering wheel. It comes in four different sizes. We've got the 270 that we're going to look at today. We've also got the 280 and then for GT racing um, and more saloon cars we've got the 320 and the 350. What we're going to do now is have a look at the product. So in the box we have the steering wheel itself. So on the front here you've got a 4.3 inch colour TFT screen. You've got the configurable shift lights up here and you've also got four alarm lights located in the corners here. Two this side and two this side. You also have 10 configurable push buttons located around here and we have three rotary dials that are on the bottom. The wheel comes with the rotary dials themselves here and also your button insert here. They aren't put in the wheel so you can configure it in whatever format you want to. On the back of the wheel we have the capability of having obviously your gear shift at the top, your paddle shift, which is just a micro switch for a connection. And at the bottom you've also got the possibility for two potentiometers here. Obviously the most common use for that would be for a hand clutch. So you can have these two, you could just have one if you wanted, um, it's completely up to you. All of the uh, paddles are optional. You can have it without paddles as well if you want and it'll just have four blanking plates on the back here if you didn't want to use it in a car with um, the need for any gear connection. So with this wheel you can obviously assign these buttons to whatever you want. So the really clever stuff inside this wheel is depending on where this rotary switch is selected you could have each individual button do something different depending on the lo location of the rotary. So if this was in position one this could be used for example for a flash. If this is in position two you could make this be used for wipers for example. The whole thing all works on canvas so it is completely confused configurable. The same as the screen. So if you go into our software on Race Studio 3, you will see there is probably about 10 different templates for the steering wheel that you can choose from and you can build your configuration from there. We're always expanding on that, but at the moment I think it's around 10 displays for the Formula Steering Wheel wheel. Another fantastic feature with the Formula Steering Wheel 4 is if you're familiar with our previous generation of wheel, you will remember that we had to have the external data logging box. That is no longer an issue with the new wheel. Everything is built inside the steering wheel. So when you used to have to connect an external Evo 4S to the wheel and then put all of your analog sensors, every channel directly into that, that is no longer needed. Everything is fed directly into the wheel with this connector. So when you buy the wheel, you need to purchase the additional loom. This then connects into there and you've got all of your switch gear for the paddle shift, all of your input switches. You've also got your can expansion like you do normally with our stuff for GPS, for camera connection, for anything like that. But what you would also do with this connector is if you wanted to run analog sensors directly into the wheel you would buy our channel expansion box. This would then connect directly into this and you can feed analog inputs straight into the wheel. Therefore everything's recorded in the data logging feature of the wheel. You don't need any additional data loggers. So obviously we have thousands of ECUs that are supported in our software. So on this loom you've got can high, you've got can low of power and ground for connecting to an ECU. You would then configure the wheel accordingly to whichever ECU is in your vehicle at that time. That would then send all the information to the wheel, you display your RPM, your pressures, all of your different sensor values on the screen. However, for some of the older cars out there, historic vehicles, they don't have ECUs. So if you wanted to get an RPM signal, you can also do this with this harness you will just run this cable to the negative side of the coil and that would give you an rpm feed to the wheel so then all you would need is like i mentioned before the channel expansion box to take in for example a water temperature and oil pressure maybe a brake pressure whatever it is you want to feed in you will just feed them directly into channel expansion into the wheel and then with the rpm connector you're going to get an rpm feed for your gear display here so that really is a system that can cope for every vehicle, whether it be a historic F1 car, whether it's a GT car, whether it's even just going into something like, for example, a Radical. This wheel can be fitted into every installation you might possibly need. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the Formula Steering Wheel 4, again, please reach out to us at aimshop.com, contact any of our sales guys, and we will do our very best to answer any question you might have. Thank you very much for watching.